Hey, right, so back in the arcade we are, and uh, let's let's race around the tracks that we unlocked from the uh, International B license. I'm gonna call that color magenta. That's what it looks like to me. Not pink because we have a pink section coming up later. But. So we got three new road tracks and one new dirt course race around. So let's just uh, go to race here. And uh, I kind of want to use my garage card. Let's use the drag. No. Let's see. Um. You know what? I'm gonna use this for the first race. Let's fucking go. The silhouette skyline. Alright, so. First up is Trial Mountain. So this will be our first race of the Magenta section. The R30 silhouette. Let's fucking go. Look how lonk that thing is. Over the castle, no intro at all. You see, that's where I hard disagree, John. Oh, there's no other race cars in this, okay. Because, uh, my favorite game, very, very good. In fact, it works better than Moon of the Castle, in my opinion. Okay, so this was a bad idea. Note to self, don't actually, uh, use race cars for this. Because <laughs> the AI do not come prepared. Good start, by the way. Speed. Remember, this is the speed run car. Excuse me. I also have to remember we're in arcade, so I have to deal with damage if I hit things. that in mind. Bye-bye, nerds. Well, this is going to be an easy W as long as I don't spin the car again. I love the fucking wing on this thing. I think my favorite car, favorite thing about this car is the wing. Because, like, the wing stays within, like, the like the width of like the norm the car normally and doesn't like conform to the fucking wide the thick body and it's fucking hilarious Look how fucking thick this wide body is. Like, look at the door of this car, and then look at the fenders. Look how much the fenders stick out. It's stupid. But why would I need to remember that when I'm playing GT2? No. Looks like a look. Actually, it does look like a Lego. Dude, when Lego R30 silhouette. Let's fucking go. All right. So note to self: don't bring race cars to the arcade. Too easy. Piece of piss. It's, uh... let's, let's not do that. I've got to wait on everybody to finish. A couple Vector M12s. Tuscan Speed 6. V8 Vantage. Uh, Sixteen seconds. Yeah, this is a bad idea. Not smart. <laughs> Easy win. 
too easy, in fact. Okay, well, now that I've, uh, now that we've established that, let's do our next race in a car that will actually create maybe some excitement. I want to. I have a Jag. Go to A class. Let's I can't remember what I have and haven't driven, by the way. Uh, let's go with the Subaru Legacy. Yeah, sure. I'm just gonna stick with the racing set because the drift set scares me and it's bad. So next up, we're going to Route 5 for the Clubman stage. Okay. The short street course. So here we go. Mustang, ARC-7, GTR. Interesting uh, grid. And hopefully I can beat them all. My Subaru. Cool. Well, we're not off to a good start. Dude, I love the arcade loading screen. It's in this game so much. Oh, excuse me, pardon me. Coming through. Race winner coming through. Come on, clear him. I gotta be careful not to ram into the walls here because I will damage the car and the steering. Oh, or I can just ram into the arc seven. That works too. You see, you keep contradicting yourself, Tank. You, you keep saying, like, the game is good, but it's not, but it is, but it's not, but it is, but it's not. Make up your gosh damn mind. Oh. Ah. I'm going to win. Okay, so it is a good game. Back fiends. I mean, it sort of makes sense, but it doesn't at the same time. So, like, it's objectively better, but not as fun, I guess. That's what you're trying to say? I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know, shit. Or just last because it was outclassed. Haha, <laughs> I rhymed. Alright, two road races down, one to go. Uh, did I unlock anything in Class S? Yes. I've unlocked this thing. Okay, I'm gonna drive this thing since I decided not to drive it for the Pacific League. In purple, because purple is best color. So, our third and final race takes us to Grand Valley for the East section. So let's go to Grand Valley East for our final Arcade Magenta Race. I need to play th the Thug games. And Thups 4. Oh, hey, there's a Cobra in here. 
what is that one? Uh, Pike's Peak. Look how long the rear of this car is. Oh my god, speaking of long, holy shit the gearing on this thing. Holy shit, 80 miles per hour in first gear. Not only is this car physically a long boy, but also Jesus Christ is gearing. And I thought American cars had long gears. Good lord. Oh shit, here comes the Cobra. Like the only race car the AI actually use in arcade. Cool. When America didn't have a supercar, meanwhile, as I drive an American supercar. Back you. I will win. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I broke. It. I got on the brakes while my car was still, like, rotating. So that almost ended in uh, disaster and pain and suffering. Shit. That couldn't have gone much worse. Back. Must defeat you. You know, the Venom's more of a hypercar than a supercar. If you want to be specific. Also, we're talking about like this era, not the the 90s, not you know now nowadays. So get fucked, Cobra. I win. I am the one true. So this thing is at least a 5 speed. I'm like, how many fucking gears does this thing have? Or to have these long of gears? At least 5. And what the fuck? <laughs> Alright. Interesting. That was very interesting AI. Very cool. That was a 6 speed. How long the how long this car is, especially like the rear of it. It's so long. It's so long, gay Bowser. Anyways, there's our three road races complete. So we've unlocked new cars to use in arcade, as well as uh, the reverse variants of all three tracks. Now let's go on to our dirt course of this section, and, uh, let's see. Ooh, we've unlocked a golf rally car, alright. Guess who's driving the golf rally car? It's me. I I'm driving the golf rally car. So, onwards to dirt course number five, it's, it's Tahiti Maze. Let's go. We're golfing at Tahiti. Oh, this thing is planted. Maybe it's because I'm using the, the racing physics and not the drift physics, but this thing, like, refuses to oversteer. Ah, that's a wall. Go me. Okay. Did 
tell you what, this is a bit more enjoyable when I'm not having to like super try hard to win a, uh, against a ghost. It being front wheel drive would also help with the whole understeer thing. You right. I like the rims on this thing too. Red as fuck. Yeah. Okay, I tried to initiate a slide with the handbrake to take a look at the rims. It did not work. I have failed in my mission. Let's try that again. Yeah, well, you gotta look at it for like half a second. I don't think this game has the R32 golf period. There's one lap around TV Maze, and because I did it in all the other dirt tracks, I'm going to do another lap. Just for the sake of uh, consistency. <clears throat> yeah. Really does not want to drift. try to read this better because I read this entirely wrong and I was about to be like super confusion so is the fat PS2 best slim is dying uh, I'd say in terms of overall reliability the fat PS2 is better than the slim especially if you want to play Gran Turismo 4 also if the problem with your slim is it's having difficulty reading discs you can probably just clean it and they'll be fine, maybe. What I've had to do with my OG. Fit. Dude, my fat PS2 is almost 20 and it's still kicking. No, there's issues with the slim PS2 and GT4 apparently, but not the fat. I think... I think the game is like too large for the slim PS2 to handle or some shit. I don't even know. Oh, then it's a problem with that game, with that disc probably, if it's only happening in Tony Hawk 4. If all your other games are fine, then it, it might be a problem with your act the disc and not the system. Anyways, that was two laps of Super Clean. I mean, there still could be something wrong with it, just because it doesn't look like anything's wrong with it. There could still be something wrong with it. And again, if that was, if that's the only thing that is failing, then I would say it's more of a, you know, it would not be a system problem. Anyways, there's all the, uh, the, the magenta section of arcade done, so, uh, now we go back to sim mode and get the international A license, and it's gonna be a time. Yay! Yeah.